not the void. It's not just the void. My main concern was how are we going to make sure that actually composite is set so deep in the tube? Because you are suddenly from a, a millimeter to millimeter and half of layering, you're going suddenly to two to three millimeter of filling. So I had a concern that it's really, if it's set properly, and uh, I don't want to have the patient to come in with other problems. And actually after using it a couple of times, I noticed, yeah, it's true. When you do it in a proper way, the lighting and everything, it sets very nicely. I did it a couple of times on the models, and I find the, which speed was suitable for my hand. And after that, I think I'm comfortable using it because you can put that handpiece on a higher speed or a lower speed. I like to go right in the middle. So that works with me. And since then we have been, all our class two, class three sit with Sonic Bell. And um, the x-rays when we take, I love it. The, everything looks so tight, the margin, the contact, everything. And it's very easy to polish. can do it very slowly or you can go really fast and then suddenly you have a bulk of material inside the tube. I like to go from, if I'm doing a uh, class 2 filling, let's say an MO filling, I try to go and have a mesial surface filled and slowly come up and go towards the occlusal and fill it completely. And then what I like about the sonic fill, it was the condensity. I was able to still use my burnisher, my acorn shape, whatever I have to shape it in every way that I want it before I light it. Rated at what I expected. I was skeptical, as I said in the beginning, but by time using it and continues using it, I, of course, patients come back for recall. We take X-rays. It's not like we have done it and we don't do follow-up. And it's nice to see the the result after a year and a half, two years, how they look. The radio opacity of the product is what I love. The adaptation between the filling and the tooth, it's great. The contact between the margins are nice. Uh, even um, I have used it for a patient who is a heavy grinder. When they come back, the amount of the abrasion on the fillings, you see it's minimal, it's pretty strong. I will say it's gonna make your life much easier. <laughs> Actually, I have colleagues that I've been trying to let them know, try to use the Sonic Fill because it's easier to use, the results are great. And uh, I personally love it. I, I mean, the best way with Sonic Fill is to let them to try it because whatever I tell them, probably they have to try it a couple of times to do class two, class three fillings and see the difference of the time and the result. <laughs>